Today is December 4th, 2024. Uh, in this audio video, I will be discussing a lot of topics and I'm going to name, probably title this audio video, Queen Bee's Legacy, Unfiltered and Uncut. So I have selected this artwork that I did back in July of 2019 for this audio video. Now, a lot of you might be wondering why I changed my channel name. Okay, so I'm going to let you know why. I decided to change my channel name and profile picture from what it used to be because basically it was time for a new change. And then also, the channel name is now called Queen Bee's Legacy for the simple fact that when I am no longer living, my godchildren will be overseeing this channel. I haven't decided yet which godson or goddaughter is going to inherit this channel, but one of them is. So, I have a lot of topics I want to cover in a very short amount of time because I don't want to be speaking too much. But um, if uh, you have read uh, the post that I put on my community page, then you probably have an idea of what this audio video is going to be about. So, um, the first thing... I want to say is I have been in this social media app of YouTube for seven years. My channel is not monetized because I have chosen for it to be like that. And when my godchildren overtake this uh, channel, that's going to be instructions that I leave in my will that I don't want it to be monetized. I got on this social media app back in 2018 not knowing that it was a business app because it was never said like that in Google Play. The reason why I even got into YouTube is because I wanted to watch um, old movies that were no longer in the theaters and also just to listen to music, like a wider variety of music without having to pay for... Um, music uh, apps. So that's the reason why I created this channel. So now I have been uh, going above and beyond for people who I do not know and they don't know me neither. So uh, I don't like being compared to other ladies that are in the social media app for the simple fact that there's nobody in this entire social media app that has done what I have done for my community. Now, most recently, I have monetized a few video gaming channels. And a few of those video gamers have showed their ugly, ungrateful side. So uh, this message is for them. I'm not going to say their names in the... Uh, audio video for the simple fact that they don't deserve to be given any type of recognition on my social media platform. So this is what I have to say. To the video gamer who is from Atlanta, Georgia, and I don't have no nothing against the city of Atlanta or the state of Georgia, but hey, you got a uh, a person representing your city and your state who uh, you really who should really be on the wall of shame, not the wall of fame. So this person took it upon themselves to be slandering and defaming my character in one of their Grand Theft Auto, aka GTA video games, and decided to, you know, uh, try to upset me. 
So he put me the name of Prince B. Well, guess what? That's not my name, but hey, that would be a good moniker for somebody uh, and your little crew of the GTA, right? And then also, too, you shouldn't be uh, running your mouth. And you shouldn't be bragging about how many baby mamas you have and how many kids you have by each one of them. What you should do, which uh, not all females do this, but some do, they get their tubes tight so that they don't have any more kids. Well, guess what? That operation can also be done for a man. I mean, you're not going to get your tubes tight, but you can have an operation where you don't anymore get any female pregnant so there's that okay and then uh there is another gta video gamer again i'm not gonna mention their channel name okay so they took it upon to contact an old ex-girlfriend of theirs and they contacted that person that person came into the live stream that person, um, you know, was very disrespectful towards me. She doesn't know me. I don't know her. Okay. And so uh, I'm no longer a moderator for that channel. Just as I am not a moderator for the channel out of Atlanta, Georgia. Okay. But here's the two things about me. Is that there is no man on this entire world that's going to dictate to this alpha female what they can and cannot do i decide if i'm going to ever leave that channel hey i can just be a number on that channel and not be active i can be an active person to that channel to those video gaming channels you're not going to ever dictate to me of telling me oh well you can leave you're dismissed no, motherfucker, you're dismissed. You were dismissed a long time ago when I stopped sharing your content. When you decided you're going to be disrespectful and say, you know, oh, quit telling people that you monetized my channel. Oh, quit telling people that you uh, brought in views and that you did this, that. You know what? You're not going to fucking take credit for what I've done for your channel. So fuck you, motherfucker. And fuck you, fuck your ancestors, fuck your whole family, fuck your whole entire generation of you. Because you know what? You're not even men. You're cowardly little boys who hide behind the skirts of all those fucking females that you fucked. And who have all those kids by you. So, how about that? You wanted to slander and defame my character in your live streams? You wanted to humiliate me? Well, you know what? I'm fucking humbling your fucking sorry little cowardly asses right now in this audio video. And for the new people that are a part of my channel, I do have 12 rules that are for my channel and for my community. And you will abide by them. Otherwise, you're going to have repercussions to your channel. And if you think that being blacklisted by YouTube and Google, no. It is far worse to be blacklisted on my list. Because a lot of you think, I don't have any stature. I don't have any pull in this social media app. Well, you're wrong, because I do. I can make or break your channel. It's up to you. I uh, selected this artwork because, as you can see, it has like a lot of little squiggly lines to it. it. has a lot of curves. Well, that's how life is. Life throws you a curveball. Okay. Are you going to fold? If you fold, hey, that's on you. It's on nobody. But if life throws you a curveball, well, you know what? You fucking catch that motherfucking ball and you throw it back out and straighten it out, which basically straighten up yourself. Straighten up your personality. Straighten up how you are. Don't be uh, blaming other people that you're this, that, and the other because of this situation or because this happened to you. 
Well, you know what? You have always the opportunity to fucking straighten up your attitude, your personality, straighten up. Whether, you know, you still want to be friends with certain people or you don't want to be friends with them. But you know what? For all the fucking haters online and offline, fucking take a number and get in line. Because I have haters. I don't even know how many um, lengthwise of the state of California. I don't even know what what number the hater is. So those two uh, video gaming channels, take a fucking number, get in line, and wait. I don't know how long you're going to fucking wait, but you're going to wait there. Because nothing that you have said about me or to other people and you try to tarnish my name in the social media app is going to change the, of the fact that I have 100% loyalty from all the OGs in my channel that have been part of my channel since the year 2018. And look, here we are in 2024, and they're still a part of my channel, and they still are getting my support, and they are still my online friends. Not only that, online family, because all of you that are in my YouTube community, I consider you to be my family. Even though I've never met you in person, I have never spoken to you over the phone, neither. I don't know where you live, and you don't know where I live, but you know what? I just can sense the vibes off of people. I can sense who's a good person and who isn't. And those of you who are not good people, and you think you're going to screw me over, and you think you're going to utilize me, and you're going to utilize my platform... Hey, I may not say nothing to you for like a long time, but I know what's going on. I'm not stupid. I'm smart. So, if you are enjoying the content to Queen Bee's legacy out of Central California, and by the way, I rule this state, drop me a like. Put a positive comment underneath this audio video and put that damn bell to all notifications. Right now, my channel is at 2,850. So I'm 150 away from hitting 3,000. Not bad for a lady out of Central California who is an elite moderator, not only in this social media app, but in another social media app. And I will be the only managing moderator. Everybody else can be a standard. And if they don't want to be, they don't have to be. They could be an audience. And if they don't want to be that either, I'll fucking ban them. That's why I have all these blue wrenches on this key ring. Which by now I have a toolbox now with all them wrenches in there. And boy, they look beautiful and they look good on me. Have a blessed rest of... December 2024, and I will be seeing you soon. Love you. Hashtag Team Queen Bee Community, now known as Team Queen Bee's Legacy Community.